Doing his homework already. <laughs> Driving. So I wanted to share with you what we saw. The Washington coast. Yeah, just on the 101 still, going still south. The Olympic National Park, right? Yeah. Yeah, we are. This coast is part of the Olympic National Park. But on our way down to Oregon, we pass by Mount St. Helens and think, well, we'll just stop by real quick at the visitor center to check it out. Here we are at Mount St. Helens yeah. Visitor Center. Hey, little buddy. There it is. But we get there only to find that it's closed. We take a quick picture and decide to change our plans last minute. We drive an hour out of our way to get a closer look at this famous volcano and we'll find out if that's a good move or not. It's cool, you can see where the lava went into the mountain. What do you think about this volcano? Oh, looks boring. Oh. We can't believe it, the visitor center here is closed too. And we don't really have time to take the kids on any hikes to explore this area. And without a visitor center for them to experience, it's difficult to teach them the history of Mount St. Helens. What do you think, Ezra? What do you think? Oh. <laughs> Mount St. Helens was the most economically destructive volcanic event in U.S. history. But despite the barren land and acres of new growth that surround this volcano, Mount St. Helens has her own beauty and story to tell. Maybe we'll get to come back someday and take more time to explore what Mount St. Helens has to offer. The kids are hungry and tired and wanting to get to Crater Lake, but there's still one more thing we need to do before we head to Oregon. We're running low on groceries and water. It's time for a grocery haul. Grocery haul with the water. Can't have too much of that. We're in Portland, Oregon, and guess what time it is? Five o'clock. This actually kind of reminds me of Manila. Truck stops are great, but to me, they're kind of like necessary evils. They're very convenient, and I'm grateful for them, but I would much rather be in my RV with full hookups and lots of green trees around me, maybe even a lake. Lucky for me, that's exactly where we're headed. Guys, what have we got? Yeah, we got some monkeys in front of us. Ooh. Ta -da. Ta -da. So fluffy. Oh, it's a raccoon. Mm -hmm. so it's a little horsey. Make sure. Uh, put that Make sure. Legos. You might steal some. 
Is this a game? It's so fluffy. Road trip. Yeah, I think it is a game. What do you guys say? Thank you. Okay, and then we go like this. You just love Shelter Cove. Shelter Cove is way more than just a campsite. It's a resort. We had full hookups and we were far enough away from the other campers to really feel like we were camping on our own. And there was a lake right there. Of course we had to take the kids fishing. We're getting ready to go on our fishing trip and Benson is awesome helping us carry everything. Mark, did you get your... Mark got his fishing license. Oh, and look what we've got here. Wow, that is a dog. That is a big dog. Bruno the Great Dane. <laughs> Bruno. Hello, buddy. That's a cute one. So exciting. Mark, can you get me catch a fish like that on the wall there? Today? Right there? No. Going out on a little fishing trip. Lakes have crabs. No. That's good. This worm is not happy right now. The worm's not happy? Why not? Because you're putting a little thing through it? Ezra has nonverbal autism, and so sometimes it is a challenge. We want him to do what the other kids are doing, but sometimes, you know, safety first. He can't do everything. Thankfully, at the store in Shelter Cove, we got a really great life jacket for Ezra so he could get in the water and play with the kids and just be the same as them. Oh, yeah. He wants everyone to stay in the water. Yeah. So I just wanted to share with you what I spend most of my time doing. And that is preparing food. So I spent a year and a half in the Philippines doing missionary work as a missionary. And one thing that I learned was how to grill corn. Look at that. That's the corn that I paid for. It looks like almost as bad as the corn that we tried to grow in our backyard. I'm not saying something. But I wanna show you how I'm doing this. So we're gonna grill them in tin foil. So here's my tin foil and I got butter and salt on it already. And then I just roll it up like this really tight in tin foil and then we'll put it on the grill and turn it every couple minutes. We will also be doing our hamburgers as well on the grill and asparagus probably. These corn on the cobs, I think I might cut them in half because we don't have very many of them and the kids are gonna fight over them. So the kids are fishing the lake and swimming the lake. We had to come back early though, huh, Simon, so you could take a nap. And obviously you can see how all that turned out. We tried. So tomorrow we're gonna wake up early and go to uh, Crater Lake National Park and just spend like the whole day, the there. Whole day there and see how much we can see. We all get up early and get some breakfast, drive to the park, and the moment we see Crater Lake, we have to pull off the road and see this amazing view close up. Our whole family just stands there, transfixed by Crater Lake. When we just stare into the blue, what's before us doesn't seem real, almost like we're staring at a photo. When I see such beauty in the world, I'm reminded that God is the ultimate scientist. He understands everything, notices everything, and can handle everything. While looking out at Crater Lake, I feel small and somewhat insignificant. But then I remember, the same God who created this world loves me with a perfect love. 
and I feel a little less small, a little less invisible, for no one is invisible to him. There's Crater Lake, deepest lake in the United States. It looks like the sky. Yeah, it looks like you're looking into the sky, huh? Mm -hmm. That would be some good wakeboarding right now. <laughs> it's super Crystal. calm. Yeah, crystal clear, calm. How are you gonna get a boat down there? Helicopter. <laughs> Do we have a helicopter? Do we have, we have a boat? A boat. It's beautiful. <laughs> so, how deep is that again? Almost 2,000 feet. Can't wait for next week as we get to experience all the beauty of Crater Lake National Park, one of God's amazing creations. Join us next week as we explore this entire park, top to bottom. Hey, man. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching that video. We got some other videos here for you. We picked out and you two picked out here. Oh, you want to pick the watch? Yeah. So thanks so much. We'll see you soon. No, I didn't.